people in Blacksburg today come together to remember the 32 lives lost during the Virginia Tech shooting 14 years ago today. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder joins us now live on campus with a look at how the community is looking back on that dark day. Annie. Well, John and Lindsay, there's really no good way to describe the atmosphere felt here on campus today to remember the 32 lives lost 14 years ago. But students and faculty members I spoke with today say the best way to get through this incredibly hard day is together. 32 hoagie stones sit in front of Burris Hall, honoring the lives taken too soon in the largest school shooting in U.S. history. For me, it's just kind of a sign of resiliency. On April 16th, 2007, 32 people were killed and dozens injured in a mass shooting on campus, which rocked the nation. Virginia Tech Associate Athletic Director Mike Goforth was in Blacksburg that day. You know, when it was all going down, you really couldn't put it all in a perspective. Um, you had family members around. I had a niece that was in school here at the time. And of course, my family was in town and there was a lot of scary moments. Traditionally, the university would host several events to honor the lives lost that day. But because of COVID-19 restrictions, only smaller crowds could gather at the memorial. For some students, it was their first time spending the anniversary on campus. I didn't get to see it last year since we were sent home and I was only a freshman. So I thought, you know what, I'll just come here, take a moment to see it, experience it, since I obviously wasn't a student here when it happened. Others say the anniversary is a way to process what happened that day. Days like this, it's really awesome to see everyone come together and really acknowledge things that, you know, happen to our campus, but nevertheless, like, we stick together. Although Virginia Tech's campus changed forever on that dark day, some say the tragic anniversary brings the community closer together. So the Day of Remembrance is a way for us to again come together and to remember those lives lost and, sh and provide support and help for each other. The ceremonial candle lit at the memorial is set to burn through midnight. The university hopes that once it's safe, it can start hosting Remembrance Day events in person in years to come. Live in Blacksburg, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.